Welcome to what will probably be the best series of videos I release on this channel. We are doing a playthrough of Portal 2. Probably the best game I've ever played. It's not the best. No, it is the best. So, without further ado, let's get started. I love everything about this fucking game. Just everything. Everything. All of it. Everything about it is just perfect. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you haven't been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. No. Okay, fine. There is a framed painting on the wall. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Hold on. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call. Hello? Is Anyone All in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you going to open the door? At this time. At any time? Well, to have exercised yeah. his or her right. Hello? Ah! Oh, God, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are, are you? Like. Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. Oh. There's plenty of time for you Sorry, to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. All right. I do. Yeah. You all right down there? I'm Can you fine. hear me? I can. Hello? You're yelling. Yes. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But Almost don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Yes. Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say... Right, yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just jumped. But never yes. mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Alright, yeah. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. I love this and of course, power. nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. Okay, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Oh, no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Oh, 
OK, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry. No if anyone cool. asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. OK, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet That's holes. But right. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture oh, Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Jesus the Christ. portal will open and emergency really testing will begin in three, two, one. Wow, facility still works. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Wow. I, I freaking love the, com the comedy of this game. Um, like... Welcome to the... If you feel liquid running down your neck, uh, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. ABH in this game. Good. Oh, I can crouch. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is no, unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh, God. Will there be anyone to do that, though? I actually wonder, though, a lot about this shit. Like... What was it actually like in the days that Aperture Science was still functioning? Like... If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to reason. Incapable of li listening to reason, eh? Oh. Hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Yeah. Oh! The fucking oh! western. The, portal gun? Also, the western the English accent is my favorite. You'll look. This was a triumph. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, <laughs> then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. God. If you're not dead. Yeah, Some emergency found... testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal yeah, military androids. Yeah, I found androids. that uh, Rest assured that, that all lethal sense. military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Oh, yeah. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. It's 
fighting. Aperture Laboratories. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Dude, I'm a good at that. See, I wonder how different this version of the Source Engine is from, you know, Half-Life and Portal 1's version. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, never mind. Good at this game. Well done. I am the, the enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Are you sure? Are you a hundred one point one volts? Jesus Christ, how much power do these things run on? Do they even work? This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Was I supposed to go there? How the fuck? Actually, we just do this first. I like, I like the line that's like, oh, I'm by the way, you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome, and remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Oh shit. I like how he's like, oh, and by the way, uh, if the laws of physics don't apply in the future, then, uh, well, God help ya. I like the crows cocking or whatever they're doing. Cawing. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Damn it! He defecated through a sunroof! God. 
That moment where the show's like lighting has declined so hard that you just expect Good work getting this far, future starter. The ending that said, down the if you are simple minded, bold, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. You fucked up my face. I feel like that's just gonna be how it ends, or how the next episode is. You probably know what I'm talking about, but... To ensure that sufficient uh, power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Baby, Center respects your right to have questions or concerns Baby, about this policy. Enrichment Center, Baby, Baby. Hey! Hey, hey! I'm up there! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, yes, I found the portal gun. You know what? Gun. It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Yeah, morons are, are the real okay, heroes. Okay, listen, let me... Imagine if you something on here, it's pretty heavy. Though. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready oh, to catch fine, me, man. all right? On the off chance that I'm not dead candy. the moment I pop off this thing. Totally Kafkaesque. Or Kafkaesque, or whatever it is. On three. Whatever really? the old school version of 1984 One. is. Two. Three! That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it? No, really? it's not. That's all right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! I... I caught you, see? I'm not dead! I'm not dead! No, you're still alive. Come into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. All Seriously, right. I'm, not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Yeah. All right, you can turn around now. Yeah, I saw exactly what you did, bro. Secret panel. Not open while your back was turned. Pick me up and off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. I um, so want to drop the off Just barrel. follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. Hello. I feel bad, that actually kind of sounds bad, like a real fucking person who needs help. Like, a whole... For... for like, for example, it's like my cat yelling in the middle of the day, whatever Corals they are. bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us oh, if, yeah. if she's um, awake. Her chamber. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you oh, know God. who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then oh. a long chunk of time where um, absolutely rattling. nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch it. Woo! Okay, down these stairs. Down these stairs? Yeah, I love his fucking Jump. Western this English country there. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Yeah. Ah, I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. Yeah, continue looking down. Yeah, see that? I'm gonna drop you down there. Oh, God, that actually does kind of scare me, though. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything right. else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look I'm at everything else. I'm looking at everything to, to else. Find an escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else Stop or look at anything. Or look at other things, but don't. You understand. I'm Can you see it anywhere? I can't up. see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. You do realize that is going to be how you and I die. Well, let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at yeah. that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, 
Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh oh. Almost like you're always power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just I'll just hack. Not a problem. Uh, He's already on. A A A A A. Um. Okay. A A A A A C. Wait, did I do beat the Joe Pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural, you've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. Yeah. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, cool. after you murdered me. You did what? Something like ah. oh, oh, shit. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. <laughs> I love that line. I will oh. say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to taste. Yes, I love it too. There's just so one small just thing started. we need to take care of first. We have to do some science, don't we? Well, exciting. I love this ball. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw- Sorry bro. Already done. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The I dual portal device should be fire. around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life were preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done right, that to somebody lying, else, right. they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years so no to do. no longer barefoot. More or less. 
fucking I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. The cold boots. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh! Does this kill me? No, it doesn't. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Yeah. The Purtle Gun. Yeah, how about it, Glad us not This next the test gun. involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Oh, yeah, that corner over there. How the fuck did it make me jump so high? Oh! Oh! Testing apparatus. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't yeah. even testing for that. Yeah, I know. Sounds like you're the horrible person. Fucking bitch. Glados, I am not glad of what you're Don't doing. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Look at the person thing that like... How about I try this?
Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. go guys it's like uh, 10 p.m so getting kind of late I might as well go to bed after this uh, video so yeah One moment. The red you're navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not, not destroying this facility Oh. Oh. See, I'm a good test subject, bros. you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Yeah, I have to. Lasers. This oh. next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Yeah. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. God, the fucking I thought that was interesting. But yeah, I like how you're navigating through it fast enough that, like, she has to clean up the broken down fucking facility, like... About Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by have myself. Fun. Still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being good. useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Oh, 
remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around you being just useless? Talking about it. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Right back at you. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, sorry just an that. interesting science fact. Accidentally fizzle that before you could complete Damn. the test. I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Notice how she, you know, evaporated those two cubes. She could probably just evaporate whatever I tried to take with. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh no, the turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back.
Well, really? I'm back. The aerial faith fight in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Yeah. Try it I'm now. Trying to make jokes about it. What happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Mm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, yeah, that by the way. Look Very good. healthy. Try it now. They were, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. I do this. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. I love this soundtrack. felt like it.
Well, you passed the test. I didn't see the deer today. I did see some humans. But with you here, I've got more test subjects than I'll ever need. Yes, I know. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. I think I'm gonna go to bed for tonight. I'm getting tired of it. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. So, uh, see you tomorrow with more Portal 2. And, uh, have fun.